What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another Forza Horizon 4 video for the winter season of Series 40. Today we're going to be jumping right into Super 7 High Stakes. Our first reward there is going to be Tropical Joggers. So let's go ahead and jump into this first challenge and go ahead and get this underway. All right, so pop that Porsche. We're in the 918 Spider. And we need to jump it as far as we can in under 34 seconds. So let's see what that number is. This is such a sick car. All right, so we need 1,006 feet. And this is going to be off of the windmill jump. And I'm assuming that there's going to be a ramp there for us to extend that jump. I don't see one right now. Ooh, that got us a little off balance. Okay. I think we hit it as well as we could there. And we absolutely crushed that. 1,400 feet. There we go. Challenge number one is done. Let's go ahead and move in. Well, let's see what our reward is for our second challenge and getting that completed. So the humble emote. Okay. You know, it's just a second challenge. That's understandable. You don't want to give anything good away too soon. So let's go ahead and move into that. All right. Yep, don't know what that is, but we need to hit 173 kilometers an hour in the Volkswagen Type 2 FE for the Forza Edition in 22 seconds. But that was a willy bar at first. So 108 miles an hour. We're just gonna go around the ramp here. And that was easy. <laughs> Didn't even need to back up for that one, so... Challenge number two is done. Let's go ahead and see what our reward is for completing challenge number three. And it's just gonna be a normal wheel spin. So, again, you know, we're still pretty low in the challenges. Uh, so we'll go ahead and jump into challenge number three. Alright, we're in the Bugani Shiron. Looks like we're on the highway. It just says U. I don't know what that... I don't know if it's saying maybe U-turn. Or what, but we'll see what we have to do here. So, just hit the time. So, 236, it cost that speed trap. And we've got four and a half minutes to do so. Shouldn't be an issue. Just need to avoid the ramps. Because that'll do nothing but slow us down and throw us off track. The Chiron sounds so good. Uh, okay, let's see. We've got two miles to go. I don't know if we're going to be able to take that one turn flat. This one coming up here. Let off the brake, or let off the gas and use the brakes just a little bit. I think we'll still be fine. We're almost at 236 and we've got a little downhill segment right here to get us a little speed. And just barely turn it around that curve. And there we go. Challenge number three is in the bag. So let's see what our challenge number four reward is gonna be. We just got a wheel spin for left leg up and super seven. Whew. Excuse me. So challenge number four will get us 50,000 credits after it is completed. So let's go complete it. All right, how fast can you go? We're in the Lego Senna. So we need to hit 174 miles an hour in the Lego Senna in less than 20 seconds. We also got the joyous free roam unable to join error that we're going to take care of right here and just go into horizon solo so let's back it up and hit the gas so we need 174 miles an hour it's gonna be close and we got it just barely but we got it nonetheless so challenge four is done skip through this and see what we get so unimpressed round eyes um yeah, that's exactly what I am right now. Unimpressed. But we'll go ahead and jump into challenge number five. All right, is that a Supra? <laughs> it's even painted onto the car. So 
You need to head 175 miles an hour in the Supra in less than 24 seconds. Um, they've got some kind of weird architecture there. I'm just gonna see if I can take a right. I don't know if you need to go that way. My goodness, this thing is wild. Turn left. Turn left. Turn right. And we got it. All right. So I don't know if you could have gone on his little, you know, banked turn. I'm assuming that that's what he made it for, but that just seemed a lot easier for me. So challenge number five is now done. Let's see what our challenge number six reward will be here. Aruga, so a horn. Okay. I'm pretty certain that I've got it, but we'll jump into it anyway. All right, speed test in the Chintanario here. We're on the highway, so we need to get to the destination in the Chintanario in under 35 seconds. Okay, so we just need to make sure that we're on the right side of the road that the destination is. Um, we got two miles. That's crazy. You can go two miles in 35 seconds. So let's see what we can do here. I'm assuming that our last reward for completing the seventh challenge is probably going to be a backstage pass. So, you know, not necessarily beneficial to me, um, but definitely beneficial to anybody who hasn't had the game long um, and is looking to get some of those more rare cars. Uh, I don't know if this is possible. What? What? Is that just me, or does that just seem... I was full gunning it the entire time there, so... I'm just gonna continue. We're gonna burn that. I'm not gonna even retry it, because I don't even see a way that that could be done there. I mean, obviously they had to test it, um, but... That just... I'm not gonna even try that, so... We're gonna burn it, and see what we get. So 228 miles an hour in the Jesco in less than a minute and six seconds. That seems more doable. All right, not safe for work. And as we said, we got to hit 228 miles an hour in the Jesco in less than a minute and six seconds. And it looks like we're on the highway. Turn around when it is safe to do so. All right, let's go. We've got. Almost double. I mean, I guess realistically it's the same amount. This car is just a ton faster than the Koenigsegg, or not the Koenigsegg, the uh, Centenario was. So I don't think we'll have any issue getting there in this. We need 282. Okay, so we have to like maintain this speed. I think we'll be able to go around the one turn flat, I think. Okay, we can rewind. That's nice. <laughs> okay, there we go. I think we should be a-okay. We'll get this little downhill section here. There we go, we barely got that. I had ended up letting it straighten out a little bit to get that turn, so. There we go, challenge number six is done. Let's see what we get for challenge number seven. So the Aston Martin Vulcan Forza Edition. So it's a Forza Edition car. I wouldn't say it's the best Forza Edition car, but it's a Forza Edition car nonetheless. So not terrible. We'll go ahead and jump into it, see if we can't win it. If we can't, I'm not too worried about it. Um, all right, jumping into the 599 XX Evo. So we have to hit 217 miles an hour in the Ferrari. I don't know if we're at, I mean like the drag strip's right there. So are we heading down the drag strip? How much time do we have? Okay, we've got two and a half minutes. Let's go ahead and back it up. So we can get it here. We 
got it there. So there we go. Challenge complete. Go ahead and hit a like on that. So that gets Super 7 High Stakes complete. So our first reward is the Tropical Joggers. And we get the Humble Emote. The Wheel Spin Unlocked. So that's the normal Wheel Spin. The 50,000 credits. The Unimpressed Round Glasses, which is appropriate. The Aruga One Horn. And the Aston Martin Vulcan Forza Edition. So, there we go. I hope you guys did enjoy or found the video helpful. If you did, definitely leave a like down below. Um, Super 7, it's... I guess it's not the worst week that it has been. Um, not super... Um, you know, great for somebody who's been playing the game for a while. Um, I think I have two of the Forza Edition Vulcans in my garage already, so... We just added another one nonetheless, but if you haven't played the game and you don't have the Vulcan, it's definitely worth, you know, playing through to pick it up. So, like I said, I hope you guys did enjoy. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and we'll see you in our next video.